What is going on everyone? It's Ricky with TechFood Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing day. Uh, today it is August 1st. The 1st of August. I actually just realized that. Um, and it is red. Um, I have something to say though. Um, I thought I was down much more than I was. Um, I was doing my thumbnail because I was down $800. Did you guys see that pullback that Facebook had? So I'm trading Facebook uh, and I'm trading LABU. Um, and I'm not down that much actually. Um, I traded ARQL. Uh, we call that one out. I'm just going to start sharing my screen with you guys. Um, just wanted to recap on my trade. Hopefully that I could explain some of my losses so you guys can learn from it. Um, if you guys uh, learned something from this video, you know, we'd really appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, but most importantly, guys, I just hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and if there's anything that I can do to better assist you, then just feel free to comment down below. So let's go ahead and kill it. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Um, let's see. So as of right now, um, it, LABU is pulling back. I actually thought I was red. I was I was red about like three three hundred dollars or something like that on this. It pushed up. Um, I took an amazing power nap. I slept about one hour and uh, fifteen minutes last night. One hour and like 20, uh, 20 minutes around there. Um, this is where my majority of my loss came. This is ARQL. Um, ARQL. Um, so it, it's been pushing up. The Learn Plan Profit team um, really did not want me to trade this. So it looks like it has a pretty solid resistance right around this area. Um, I was down a little bit over $600. I traded it and then I was able to recover to bring it back down to a little bit under $500. This is where a majority of my loss came from. Um, so I'm up on, um, or I'm actually, I'm down on Facebook as well. So I'm down on Facebook. I'm down 230. It looks like it's reaching a peak formation. I'm comfortable swing trading Facebook though. So I'm down, let's say 200 and, uh, it's at 224. Let's say 230. I'm down on Facebook right now. Um, I'm down, uh, but this is a swing trade. So I guess it's not really counted as a loss. You guys count it as, as you know, what you guys want. Um, ARQL, I'm down, let's say $500. It's like four. 90s whatever um, and then I'm up on LABU um, so I want to see ooh there it goes I might be red now okay I'm up $86 um, I, I see a lot of value swing trade potential right uh, when it comes down to the pattern that LABU has to offer I'm actually going to remove uh, this specific order um, that was just because I, I took a nap for about uh, 45 minutes so um, but <laughs> wait Ricky makes mistakes of course 100% and Again, I'm, I'm trading LABU, right? I traded Facebook um, and Facebook got rejected uh, by the 15 EMA, the one that we have on that 180 day, uh, four hour chart. Um, definitely, that was an obvious resistance. I felt comfortable holding. I still think and I, I see a lot of value in that specific, um, you know, uh, the pattern, right, of this overall reversal. It's something that I see value in. I could be completely wrong. This thing can open up at $10 tomorrow, right? If it opens up at $10, you know, I might be having a bad day, but Mark Zuckerberg, definitely much worse day, right? Um, overall, uh, I feel very comfortable with that trade. Um, this is the one that I really wanted to talk about. Check out last night's video. Last night's video, I talked about ARQL. Um, this is sending up trend pattern at its earnings report today and it opened up green right off the gate. So I'm gonna go on the one day, one minute chart. Pretty much what I said on the uh, on the breakdown last night is it was showing signs. I mean, we talked to, I've traded ARQL multiple times, right? Um, it had a support here right around $5, resistance here right around $6, uh, and it was kind of a make it or break it. If it has a bad earnings, then it would make sense on why it would sell off. If it, if it has a good earnings, then it would make sense on why it would shoot up. Guess what, good earnings, it shot up. Um, I never hold their earnings, right? Um, and I was doing just fine. I traded it for like about like 30 seconds and I made $60 and it was a joke uh, for those that were part of Learn Plan Profit because I sold right around this area and then it shot all the way up to $6. And you know how it is, FOMO, right? And then it sold off and I bought some thinking that it was gonna reverse. I bought some right around the EMA indicator and it continued to sell off and then I had to cut losses, right? Um, I bought a little bit more when it was trading around this area so that's why I have some you know, um, just uh, support and resistance signs drawn there. Um, but altogether, it's been staying pretty consistent. It, it's been staying pretty consistent. Now it offers kind of a support right around where that middle VWAP is at. Maybe I should trade it, right? I should wait for a sell-off, buy, buy it at the middle VWAP, uh, and then sell it at the top VWAP. What do you think, Austin? <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Rick, and I lost $800 day trading. So it wasn't actually $800. Um, it's $500 from ARQL. Um, oh no, it's, it's around there. Um, and then Facebook is around 225, so that almost puts me at about 800. But then I made 100 or something like that on, um, what was this, LABU. Where's, where's that at right now? All right, it's recovering. So 
let's go ahead and set this alert. So I'm down about like a little bit under $700 if I'm not mistaken. It's still a decent amount of money. Um, yesterday I was up, I showed you guys my profits, four hundred, a little bit over $460. Um, and then the day prior to that I was up a little bit over $440 as well. So um, it's been consistently green. Um, if you guys, I mean I kind of broke my streak uh, all last week. It's been, it was extremely profitable. I had my biggest week last week of uh, $2,800 profit. Um, and it felt amazing, right? Um, a lot of fluid trades. I definitely forced this trade. There's no question about it when it comes down to that trade that I took on ARQL. I'm very comfortable right now with my Facebook position. I know that it is selling off, um, but the pattern has been very consistent, so it's nothing that I'm too worried about. So what I actually lost today is $500, because that's what I'm actually down, what I cut losses on and stuff like that. So, um, so, hey Rick, uh, I'm a big fan, I'm starting out uh, and I'm from Spain. Any tips? I would encourage you to start paper trading, so not risking real money, but um, you know, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes as you're getting started. So start Googling uh, or YouTubing certain paper trading or simulation trading platforms that are available outside of the US or, or within your country. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, no, so I haven't watched in a long time. Let me see the hair. No, my hair's actually black, uh, brown again, right? So it's, it's back. Um, we're good. We're golden. Um, let's see that blonde hair. I know the, the thumbnail is, I have to change it. So I'm going to have to change it because I get a bunch of hate if my thumbnails are not exact. I wanted to overshoot, right? Because if I say, okay, I'm only down 500 and then end up being down 700, you know, there's a bunch of haters that will be like, no, you're actually down 700. It's like, okay, if you want to count every penny or every dollar, 100%. So I just overestimated 800. I'll adjust it to whatever it is that people feel that it's right. Um, but yeah. I we the reason that I'm first of all there's two reasons I wanted to share this with you guys so overall the day for me today uh, or my day today for trading obviously sucked um, no question about that um, there's there's no way to put it for other than that um, it was slow um, I didn't uh, other than trading for about one hour I didn't do anything else um, when it comes down to actually trading I wanted to talk to you guys about two things first of all. Um, Remember I made an offer yesterday on a house, right? This house was 50, a little bit over, almost 5,700 square feet. It has a total of eight rooms, um, a movie room included in that, um, an amazing backyard. The backyard has like over two, uh, a little bit under $200,000 worth of upgrades. Guess what today happened? What? Well, guess what happened today, guys? Can you guys guess? Let me know if you guys want me to make a video about it. Um, our offer got accepted, so... Um, yeah, we're under contract. I just bought my fifth, uh, my fifth house, right? So not bad. Um, super blessed, super super blessed. And um, also, we had an amazing live stream for those that were a part of Learn Plan Profit. So they they were cracking up at my loss because it was such a dingleberry mistake. And that's something that like, um, what's it called? Something that you have to like own up to it, right? It's just something that like sucked. And it is like a lot of money, right? I was down like $600 and it sucked. But I told them, I was like, and I, I recovered it in literally like 10, 15 minutes of trading. And it's because we have an understanding of how to invest. So it was, I think, one of the most energetic and most like funny, like like just bubbly like videos, I've ever, live videos I've ever done with them Learn Plan Profit. I, I thought it was an amazing, one of my favorite ones. Although it was obviously red, um, that would have been nice if it was, you know, green. Uh, so Facebook just broke below 172. Great, nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it it definitely did suck that it was red, but it was an amazing live stream. I just want to thank all those that are part of Learn Plan Profit that uh, were there with me uh, for that live stream. You guys absolutely killed it. Everyone did well except for me, um, and I'm 100% okay with that because I, I love seeing our team do well. Uh, so. If, I hope everyone that with that that's part of TechBot Solutions also did extremely well. I hope everyone that's part of any group chat, um, as long as you guys are investing in what, in what you see value in and it makes sense to you, great. I hope that you do well. If you're investing based on other people's opinion or because maybe you still don't understand and you're over trading, that's where you're going to run into um, certain areas of opportunity um, and, and mistakes, obviously, right? But um, LVP Power, Hunter, you said it best. Uh, but I'm super excited. The reason that I'm super excited about this um, new house is first of all now that we have the house okay so I'm not gonna be able to move in until like a month right uh, we have to I, I took out a loan I think I don't even want to talk about like how much this house is but um, I had a specific price range of where this where I wanted to stay this house is about two hundred and thirty thousand dollars more than I wanted to spend but it 
I did it for our team. I did it for uh, those that are part of Tactical Solutions uh, that work with me. Um, you know, Justin, Harley, Joel. Um, I would not be able to, um, you know, I would not be where it is that I am today if it weren't for them. So uh, the backyard was super ideal for them. They wanted like a really nice backyard where we could have people to come over. Um, it has eight rooms. It has a movie room. Uh, it has a huge like bar area. Um, and these guys are like hilarious. I, I'm, I'm just so happy because like it, I wasn't, after every house that I went to go check out for the past couple of months, I was never super excited. I just was like, I'm very like unemotional when I buy things. Um, that's something that a lot of people have told me when I bought my McLaren, when I bought, you know, the 570S, when I bought even my first McLaren, um, it, it was irrelevant to me because I knew it was a business deal because I make money off of my cars. Uh, same thing with my houses, right? Um, this was the first time that I was like very excited about my decision to invest in this house because I knew it was something that we worked very hard for and it's probably one of the most rewarding things. So um, I just, I don't, I don't know if you guys would like me to make like follow up videos uh, when it comes down to, you know, this fifth investment property that I buy. Um, but the reason that it has eight rooms is there's going to be four of us that are going to be living there. Um, and then um, we're going to have, you know, our developer, uh, Mackenzie, uh, who we would love to come visit from time to time um, and just have a room to stay, right? I'm going to have an office, which is going to be solely focused just for you guys uh, for trading. And it's going to be amazing, right? Um, and if we ever have guests or um, we plan on having like certain people over that are part of Learn, Plan, Profit, and I want you guys to not have to stay at a hotel, right? I would like you guys to stay with us and the Tech Bits team and how amazing would it be just to, you know, hang out with us. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a little thing of like, um, you know, uh, of my team and us working where there was like uh, eight of us, right? Just sitting on the couch on our computers, uh, killing, uh, knocking things out. Uh, it's an amazing environment um, and I really do enjoy it. And I know a lot of people that are very motivated that like surrounding themselves with these type of people are very, um, you know, motivated uh, by surrounding themselves uh, with like-minded individuals as well. So um, yeah, that's really just it. Um, you guys are saying house tour. Okay, yeah, show us a video would be sweet. Sounds good. Um, so what do you think about Twitter? Will it receive uh, the $10? I don't know, Kenneth, I haven't looked into Twitter at all. Uh, can you buy stocks from Europe? Of course you can, you just have to get a brokerage. So, Are you swing trading uh, your current positions? Yeah, I think I might swing trade uh, Facebook. I'll probably sell LABU just because I'm up on that one. So we'll have to follow up with that uh, in just a bit. So um, love your videos. I appreciate everything that you do, man. Thank you, Andrew, really do appreciate that. Um, so uh, Christian Rios, direct message me uh, uh, via Discord right now, uh, and I'll do a breakdown on JNUG for you. So I don't want to uh, take too much of your guys' time um, for, for those that are uh, here in the live stream. I just wanted to really, like, I know this is, like, not the video to do it, but I just want to thank you guys uh, for everything that is that um, you guys do, just for you, just the time that you invest in watching, you know, uh, these videos and being a part of TechFit Solutions. Um, and, of, of course, for those that are part of Learn Plant Profit, um, it's just amazing uh, to call you guys like, you know, our team and stuff like that. So um, if there's anything that I can do, feel free to comment down below and we'd be more than happy to, you know, review it with our team and see if we could uh, implement it. So uh, now the next step is working on the TechBot Solutions headquarters. Now that we have um, our TechBot Solutions house, we want to get a facility uh, where people just can come in, dock up their computers and trade. Um, so, oh, but um, yeah, that, that's really just it. So. Um, I'm a part of LPP and it's great. Thank you, uh, Edwin. Thank you, thank you. So um, yeah, that, that's really just it. So I wanna thank you guys again so much for your time. Um, I know we're gonna absolutely kill it this week. Um, how to turn $2 into $2 million. Joseph, that, that is a crazy, that is huge. Not, next video, how to turn $2 into $2 million. Okay, sounds good, Joseph. Um, but. Um, yeah, for those that aren't part of TechFit Solutions, again, we're one of the, we're the fastest growing private trading cre uh, community out there. We have over 130,000 members. Uh, click that third link down below if you guys aren't a part of our group already. Um, and then if you guys want to subscribe, great. Uh, if not, I totally understand. I wish you guys the best in your venture when it comes down to investing. Uh, just surround yourself with people that motivate you and that always uplift you. Right? I think, um, you know, that are, that are uh, very uh, like self-rewarding, right? Um, and then the last thing is if you guys want to work with me uh, a little bit closer and watch, uh, want to watch me trade live, uh, I would love the opportunity to be able to, you know, uh, work with you on a closer basis. Uh, be sure to click that first link down below um, and, and learn a little bit more about the Learn, Plan, Profit uh, private group and stuff like that. So, um, yep, yeah, uh, RTRX, yeah, I did see that pullback. Um, 
Actually, where's RTRX at right now? So RTRX right now is still getting rejected. It's right around the uh, 2770. I'm going to have to make an update video on that because I have to make a video on the stock market growth challenge uh, and the position that I just took. So um, I'm super excited about that. There's so many videos that I have to upload within the next uh, three days. I'm going to be in LA tomorrow for an influencer party. Um, so super pumped on that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a meetup, but I um, just wanted to let you guys know kind of that I'm going to be traveling. So uh, yeah, thank you guys again for your time. Continue working hard. Continue following your dreams. Let your passion be what drives your success. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.